teeth check. Oh, uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome for the first time. Thank you for being here. My name is Faith, and today I'm going to share with you how you can pull off red lipstick. I wore this exact color red lipstick in my giveaway video, which, by the way, if you are new, I am running a giveaway this month. I will link that video down below if you want to check it out. But a bunch of you guys commented on how much you just loved the red lip and how you wish you could pull it off you just don't feel like you can pull off the red lip and I just had to make a video to show you guys that you absolutely can pull off a red lip so I have four tips for you guys that will help you to achieve and pull off a red lip so if you want to see how you can do that then just keep watching actually first though before we get into the video sorry this is actually super super exciting and I wanted to give you guys a heads up on this if you don't follow me on Instagram then you did not know but I am actually partnering up with Miranda Fry my favorite jewelry company to do a giveaway and that is going to be run through my Instagram so I will pop up my Instagram somewhere here so that you can see what my username is and go check that out we're going to be giving away a Blake chain with an initial charm so whoever wins will get to pick which letter they want for their initial charm. This is like my favorite necklace. I mean, I love all of them, but this is the one I wear the most, so I figured it'd be a good one to give away, and their pieces are so, so amazing. It also comes in silver, so if you are not a gold jewelry person. It also comes in silver. So yeah, check out my Instagram to see what the rules are for entry and good luck. Okay, now let's actually get right on into the video. Alright, so the first tip I have for you, especially if you're new to trying the red lip sort of thing, is to keep the rest of your makeup pretty simple. Now, I definitely will rock a red lip with full on lashes and a winged liner, but I think if you're new to testing out and wearing a red lip, I think you'll feel a little bit better and not as self-conscious if everything else is toned down. So you see me today, right now I don't have any lashes on, this is just mascara, I ran a little bit of bronzer through the crease, it's really nothing, really nothing at all. It's pretty simple makeup. I also kept the cheeks pretty toned down. You really want to pick one or two areas of emphasis for the face, and especially when your lips are so bold, I would say to just keep that emphasis there and keep everything else pretty simple. In the giveaway video where I was wearing this lip color, I did have a little bit of uh, lashes, like corner lashes on with a small wing, and that's actually one of my favorite ways to wear a red lip, but I also wanted to show you, especially for those beginners with red lips, that it might be an even better idea to really, really tone it down, skip the liner, just throw a little bronzer in the crease, you don't need to do a big smoky eye, just throw on some mascara and make the lips stand out. That way you don't run the risk of being a little bit too over the top, especially if you're just transitioning into wearing more makeup. My second tip for you is to choose the right undertone, and this can totally vary by person. Really, there's two major undertones you will see with red lipsticks. There is a cool or like blue undertone, and then there is a warm or kind of like orangey undertone. My favorite on me is more of a blue undertone. This one is definitely more cool toned, blue undertoned, and just to show you exactly what this color is, this is IBY Beauty, and it is their Velour Liquid Lip in the shade Crush, and this is pretty affordable. I think it's like around the $12 mark. I will link this down below. This has been my go-to red lip color. I absolutely love it. It's super comfortable. It dries matte super fast, and I just love this. I will swatch this here on my hand too because I am going to compare this with a few others. So here is the swatch of the IBY Beauty Crush. 
The reason I like liquid lipsticks with a blue undertone is because that cool tone kind of counteracts any yellowness you might have in your teeth, so it makes your teeth look really, really white. I do have a couple examples of orange undertoned liquid lipsticks that I'll get to that don't make my teeth look like extra yellow, but there definitely are some red lipsticks that will make your teeth look extra yellow and your eyes look extra yellow just because of the contrast. My best advice to you would be to pick up one of these in each undertone and test it out on yourself, especially at places like Sephora and Ulta. You can always return one of them if you end up liking one over the other. So I would just suggest trying an orange undertoned liquid lipstick or lipstick. It doesn't have to be a liquid lipstick. I just kind of like liquid lipsticks more. And test it out on your actual face and see if you like the blue undertone more or the more orange warm undertone. So again, this is more of a blue undertone. Another example I have is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. <laughs> what a name. This is very similar to what I'm wearing now, except for it's even more blue. It is, you can see there, this actually makes this one look kind of orange and it's really not because this one is definitely blue. This is actually really, really nice, you guys. This one lasts so long. I wore this to a party one time where I was eating and drinking and I literally did not have to touch up my lips once. So again, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipstick in Lady Balls and it definitely has a blue undertone, which is nice. Another red lipstick I have that has a little bit more of that cool undertone is this one from Makeup Forever. I think they might have changed their packaging, but hopefully they still have this color. This is nine. Makeup Forever just has numbers as shade names. They do that for everything. And you'll see this one is definitely like even more on the cool side and kind of like a raspberry shade. So that is another example of a kind of cool toned red lipstick that you could try. Now I have a couple that are more on the orange side. This one is from Stila and this is Tesoro. And I'll show you how much more orange this is. I swatched it right up here above the one I'm wearing so that you can see that it is definitely more on the orangey side. This one looks really, really nice when you have a tan and you kind of have all those warm tones going for you anyways. Another example I have from the drugstore is this Revlon lipstick and this is 880 Marigold and this is like almost a straight up orange lipstick. I love the color. Um, it's not as wearable. Uh, yeah, these are definitely more my favorite, but definitely on some people with more, I'd say, warmer, deeper skin tones, these can actually be even more flattering. And again, the best way to find out what you like on yourself is just to pick up a couple in those different ranges and test it out and see what you feel most comfortable in. All right, my third tip for you is to use a lip liner. Some of you may already do this, but if you don't, it's an absolute necessity when you are going to be doing red lipstick, and that's because the red lipstick is really what's going to grab someone's attention it, as a whole just because it's so bright and it is kind of an attention grabber so if you don't have clean crisp lines it's just it's gonna look bad if you don't already use a lip liner you definitely need to I have two here to show you because I definitely have a favorite this is your traditional pencil kind that you sharpen and this is a retractable kind I would definitely go with the pencil kind, especially for darker colors. The retractable ones just don't get as pointy. You probably won't be able to see, but you wanna make sure you have a super, super sharp pencil. And actually, pencil lip liners are normally cheaper than the retractable ones, so 
it works out great. NYX has a bunch. I will link some down below. This one is more on the orangey side. It's called Pumpkin, but they have red ones as well. NYX is a really good brand. ELF also has a good red lip pencil. You can really find these from anywhere, and they all basically do the same thing. Also, if you're not really sure how you should be lining your lips, I do have a video where I showed how you can get plump lips, almost like you got lip injections, and in that video, I really show you how I kind of overdraw my lips or line my lips and so I will link that video as well up here and that way you can check that out and really see how I line my lips and learn how you can do that yourself. Alright and my final tip for you guys and don't laugh at me I'm actually being serious you just have to have confidence. I know when I first started wearing darker lip shades I, well actually when I first started I would just wipe it off and not wear it out of the house, but when I really started to venture out and wear it out of the house, I would kind of, you know, walk around like this or like, hey, you know, just have confidence. People are going to feel that from you if you're kind of like hiding your lips or acting weird and they're just going to feel that you're not confident in it. So you have to wear it with confidence and really the more you wear it and the more you see yourself in the mirror with a bold lip, the more comfortable you'll get with it and the more confidence you'll gain from it. Those are all four tips I have for you on how you can pull off red lipstick. I hope that this was helpful. I want to see you guys posting on Instagram and tagging me in your selfies where you're wearing red lipstick and rocking it. I want to see that. So make sure you tag me and show me that you are rocking a red lip. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!